Hey guys, Sean Malone here, down on Pine Island, down in Southwest Florida. Uh, like we said, we moved over from Cape Coral. Over to this location, this place is a lot heavier hit. Uh, we're actually at a bicycle shop. It's on a main road. Go ahead. And uh, we're here, we're doing dinner service right now. I just had a moment to jump out of the kitchen, helping out with the team. Uh, dinner's just starting, it's about 4, 4.30. And, uh, but hey, I wanted to update you on what we're doing here. We're doing distribution. We got distribution over here. Serving meals here behind me. Uh, the pace of this over here is a lot better for us. Cars are pulling in, they park and then they come out, they grab a meal. Everybody's getting ministered to and everybody is hearing the gospel. That's the mandate for the day. As you guys know, we had a uh, really serious accident this morning. Uh, Kate Newman, Greg Newman's wife, uh, they actually run Mobile Hope. Uh, it's the prayer worship stage. And this morning uh, in our prayer time, we just really felt impressed by the Lord that we needed to bring that uh, trailer out here. Uh, last night, early this morning, uh, some of our families and different ones were feeling a really high level of warfare, just in the spirit, uh, just people getting attacked in different ways. First time it really happened on the deployment. And so we just prayed. We gathered, all 25 of us this morning, just started worshiping, praying. And uh, we felt like the Lord said, take out mobile, the uh, mobile Hope trailer. So we did. We got it out here. And uh, as you can see, this platform there, that platform comes down and it's very, very heavy. And uh, anyway, uh, there wasn't a cable connected and uh, Kate, when she unlatched it, she was under the door. It came down, hit her in the head, hit her in the back. She was underneath it, really terrible. She had a uh, uh, really deep gash in her head. She got stitches and, uh, and then we were told that she broke her tailbone, but now we're finding out that uh, she either has some uh, ruptured discs or uh, small fractures uh, in her vertebra, in, in, in her lower back. And so we need continued prayer with that. Uh, their family, we love these guys so much. They're so passionate for Jesus and bringing out the Mobile Hope trailer. And they've been down here serving and Greg's made several runs back and forth. Been a real integral part. And it just makes me absolutely furious that the enemy would attack them in this way. And it's insidious that their passion is to bring mobile hope out. So it's her dream to see this thing opened up and to see her get hit that way. So we've just been taking vengeance all day on the enemy. Uh, we've had some salvations. We, I know we baptized one. There's five coming back for baptism tonight. And uh, we're just paying him back for what he did. And uh, we're just sharing the love of God, sharing the love of Jesus. Please continue to cover us in prayer. The dynamic here on the island is just a lot different. It's, uh, it's a little more intense over here, different community and um, a different scenario altogether. So it's a little bit like the Wild West over here. So anyway, we've been uh, going forward with uh, live worship and recorded worship all day, but we're just keeping going. That's what first thing Kate did was text us and she goes, don't stop Mobile Hope, get it up and going. Don't stop anything, keep going, keep going. And so that's what we've been doing. We've been doing it for Kate and uh, just touching people with the love of God. And we thank you guys for all your support, all your prayers, we need it, we really do. So we're in the thick of it. Can't do it out without you guys. Responders sign up, there's a van leaving from Charlotte uh, next Monday, and uh, it'll be coming back the following uh, Saturday to Charlotte, the Fort Mill areas. You can email deploymentatcryout.com or you can sign up for deployment and come down on your own. We have teams out mucking out homes as well. There's tremendous need over here, just just as it's just not ending. And uh, all the primary lines to the island, uh, all the electrical lines are down. They're working on it, but it's gonna be a little while before power is restored over here. So thus the need for food. So we're serving meals from 11 to seven. I don't know, probably 500 meals so far today, somewhere in that neighborhood. But anyway, that's all I got guys. Uh, God bless you and uh, come see us. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.